Have you ever imagined what goes on in the mind of an artist when that brush is being picked? So I decided to sit down with an amazing artist and wanted to hear everything. Ross King is an artist um, who has devoted his life in art in whatever form. Um, but painting and sketching are like the major roles he play in uh, creating what he creates. I have been an artist for all my life. Lupita Nyong'o once said, your dreams are valid. And in art, what I see, you are allowed to dream. So Rams, can you take us through your first painting experience? How was it? Okay, first of all, I don't remember my first picture. The pictures that I was drawing or painting back then were the pictures of the celebrities that I liked. Tupac, 50 Cent, Ja Rule, all these DMX were like my subjects back then. I could say when I was in primary school, I used to draw things for other students and they would pay me. I paint a lot of different things and I only have one style in sketching but I don't have like a style in painting because I tend to paint whatever that I like. I get inspiration from everything, from everyone based on the stuff that I like. I like movies, I like music. You see a bunch of paintings here, um, there's a Lion King, there's a Joker, there's a Childish Gambino and all these are from movies which I like. I get a lot of experience doing different pictures, different, different paintings. All these experiences can be based on the story I get from these clients. I'm trying to learn different styles, different medias, different ways of creating. And you know, learning never stops. I did more than a hundred of paintings. We can talk here. And somehow we would mention somebody and then we would remember what he did or what was his contribution to, to the society. And then I, I would probably feel like, wow, I need to draw that person. And then I draw them. I have a collection of so many people that I had drew and most of them, they gave me different experience and they have lifted me up from one point to another. And that's why I guess I'm here. I don't remember exactly how much I sold my first painting, but it wasn't more than a hundred thousand because right now my price range ranges from a hundred thousand to five hundred thousand. I'm comfortable at that price range because I think people who love my art would definitely afford that. Technology has played a very big part in creating any work of art that we do. In my kind of art, I paint, I draw physically, and I sketch or not. Most of my art I've been doing on, 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 on a sketch note, and trust me, what I could do there is the same thing that I can do physically. There are a lot of different perceptions to this. Some people think that there is no originality to it, it's not um, authentic, it's not genuine to draw on, on Wacom or to sketch on pads because they feel that technology is helping you a lot. I give that choice to my clients. They can choose if they can choose whether for me to do those physically or to do them um, digitally.
I want to create a name so that when I'm gone, I have created so many of my creations. Just like Van Gogh, just like Picasso, just like Tanzanian artist Tinka Tinga, Mohamed Raza, names, all this. So that is my first objective, to turn this wheel around. My art is a very simple art and I would like it to be regarded as such. Simplicity.